Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to talk about using an adjustable friction saver while cutting down a stem. Um, this is, as you see here, imagine this is a tree trunk from an aerial point of view. Um, here I have a friction saver, an adjustable friction saver, and then here is my double rope system here using a hitch climber and a hitch cord. Um, now, while you're on, while you're up there, um, you know you can adjust this exactly how you need it um, because of the Prusik. Um, this is this connection method is the ANSI approved method for attaching oneself to a stem while cutting it down. Um, if a climber were to top a tree or um, take off a big section and all the pretension were to you know send them flying you know where they're bucking like uh, you know in the rodeo um, this would prevent the climber from being ejected from the tree or from sliding down all the way like you would see perhaps with a normal flip line. This is because the device is cinching down around the stem while the climber is putting their weight on it. Um, so it is easily adjusted by simply moving this Prusik. Um, this friction saver which is uh, made by Rope Logic, is made from seven feet of poison ivy rope, which is made by Yale. It has two sewn ends, uh, one with a large ring and one and a small ring on the sewn Prusik loop. Um, the Prusik loop is made of Epicord, um, and both rings are steel. The friction saver also comes with friction savers in general can come with um, other types of rings made of different material um, steel is very strong but it is also very heavy um, these steel rings um, I don't know what they weigh but they are substantially heavier than um, the other option which is um, commonly used are magnalium or aluminum uh, repel rings which are much lighter, uh, but they're also not as strong. Um, so if let's say you set this up and you put this on a stem, what you're going to want to make sure you do is that you always keep a fist length between the two rings. Uh, if you want to guarantee your safety, just about, all but guarantee, you know, maybe go a little more and, um, you know, make it two fists or one and a half. Um, this is going to make sure that in the event that you were to just completely drop out, um, you would cause this to cinch around the stem very hard and it would be unlikely to move from where it was positioned. Um, if you are climbing and you find yourself at a particular spot for you know a longer amount of time than just cut and go, then you know it's a great idea to if you have a long enough tail on your friction saver um, to tie a stopper knot of your choice right near the where the Prusik is that way should it fail um, or perhaps it wasn't dressed properly then this stopper knot will prevent this from shooting down the rest of this um, friction saver tail and or worse off which any of these could any of those events could cause you to topple down the tree um, so, 
Let's see, what else is there? Um, another option that exists are, just like these adjustable friction savers, there is a pulley form called the pulley saver. And the way that works is, instead of the small ring attached to this Presic is a pulley. And usually the large ring is of either the same size or there's a loop, a sewn um, or uh, just, a, just a loop made out of the cordage. And it allows the pulley to enter in and then the pulley itself can be, you know, a rope can be attached to it and then it can be retrieved through a variety of methods. Um, or one way I use a pulley saver when I don't actually own one is I kind of do this. Um, I'll show you. I grab my uh, Rock Exotica mini pulley and I don't attach to the ring um, but I attach to the soft connection which is the rope or the Prusik loop and then I can open up the pulley and I can put the rope in Bring this through. And then I've got the same um, double rope system, but um, it's going to have much less friction. Um, this would be probably, I mean, this is still safe. For the application of what I'm talking about where you attach yourself to a stem um, but it's really not as necessary um, unless you're still going out on limbs um, or doing limb walks it, but it is an option just know that just because you don't have a pulley on there doesn't mean you can't put one on there and so but this is a better setup for when you have it around a tree limb and you can then let these go together and because of the pulley there's you know less friction so just some options for you and um, let's see so another method that can be used to you know, bring this or retrieve your throw line. I'm not your throw line, excuse me, I'm ahead of myself. Uh, to retrieve your friction saver is to connect your throw line to the end of, to the tail of the friction saver. And that way, when you're ready to take it down, all you need to do is pull your rope out and um, then you can pull it down this way. Um, and then finally, well not finally, second to finally, um, what's great about this system is that it can easily be converted into an SRT setup. And the way this is done is like this. So I'm just taking off the pitch cord that I had attached to my rope. And now what I can do is 
do the small ring first, then the bigger ring, and what I would do is pull out just as much rope as you need to um, do your work, and once you've decided on a length, you can put in a knot like, a I usually recommend the Alpine Butterfly. Oops. What happened here? <laughs> Sorry, this is getting me off. Alright, try that again. Alright, so I've got my Alpine Butterfly and what I do is I pull it pull it through um, and once again you want to make sure that you have separation between the rings equivalent greater to or equivalent to the width of your fist and now on this I can attach any SRT device that I want so I can you know put on my rope runner if I wanted to Okay, so now I'm ready to go. I can um, take this rope runner, attach it to my harness, and just like with the double rope situation, you're good to go. Um, anytime you know you were to you know drop down. Um, this would cinch up and it would keep you in place. So yeah, this has been um, all about friction savers and their benefits, mostly, almost entirely their benefits, but one downside is that it does take a little longer to disassemble than a flip line would, where flip line you can just take it off. This you have to pull your whole rope through and then take it off and you know, it's a, a little bit of a process, but as you saw, it doesn't take that long to, you know, do it. So, um, if you found this helpful or interesting or even just entertaining, um, please hit the like button or consider commenting or subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.